Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest kicked off on Coney Island in New York, pitting 20 hungry contestants against each other in the July 4th battle for gastronomic supremacy, and we have a new champion. Favored from the beginning was Joey Chestnut, who'd won every year since 2007 and holds the all-time record, 69 hot dogs in just 10 minutes. But this year, Chestnut's reign came to a stunning end at the hands of Matt Stoney, who scarfed 62 hot dogs to Joey's mere 60. Paul, I think this kid is going to do it. This would be a huge upset. This would be Nova over Georgetown in 85. This would be the Pats over the Rams in Super Bowl 36. Youth is speaking in Coney Island today. The spectacle is pretty awesomely appalling, but that doesn't stop 50,000 New Yorkers from showing up to watch in person or millions more from tuning in on ESPN. But then again, it's not really about the dubious aesthetics or prodigious ability of these dog-munching athletes, well, Americans. It's about the hot dog and its singular place in American life. Nobody knows exactly from whence it came, only that like America itself, it's a product of immigrants. In this case, German immigrants who brought over the bratwurst and frankfurter in the 19th century. And while brats are fine, it wasn't until someone started putting them on buns and mixing up the meat that the hot dog was born, a name taken either from its resemblance to the body of a dachshund or, allegedly, from the type of meat put in its early variants. Either way, hot dogs became an American phenomenon and a symbol of how American life is the sum of our immigrant experience. Today, we eat them at ball games and barbecues and, yes, gross eating contests. We even have motorized giant hot dogs that drive coast to coast, passing out little hot dogs, kind of like a nesting doll made of meat. And so, however you're celebrating July 4th, eat a hot dog and take a moment to enjoy it, unless you're in an eating contest, of course, which, in that case, good luck. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.